here is my attempt at exercise number four, the manual pull focus exercise. And you're going to see here, it takes me a while to sort of get set and to really um, achieve what I was trying to achieve here. But you can see, okay, I've got two uh, objects here. I've got a, an old curling trophy from my nan. Her name is Shirley, so I guess that we'll call the trophy Shirley. And then in the back, you'll maybe recognize my little snowmobiler rider uh, named Chip. So I've got Shirley and Chip both in the frame. And what I'm trying, um, you can see, uh, this was like about 3.30 in the afternoon. The sun had gone behind one of my the condo towers next to mine. And so uh, it wasn't too bright. So I was able to open up the iris, let lots of light in. That helps achieve shallow depth of field. I've zoomed the camera optically all the way in, my DSLR, Nikon 3300. And what I'm doing here is I'm trying to, I eventually get it by the end, but I'm trying to play, I am playing with the manual focus so that I can use the shallow depth of field to change the focus from Shirley in the foreground, the uh, curling trophy to Chip, the snowmobiler in the background. So I think this is where I kind of get myself organized. I'm not quite, so what I'm trying to do here is to get Shirley, the curling trophy, in focus. This is pretty good focus. It's not quite as sharp as I would like, but I think I do get it eventually. Okay, now I'm trying to get Chip into focus. This is very finicky stuff. It does take practice and a lot of tries, as you can see right here with my example. Okay, this is looking much better. I'm still trying. <laughs> okay, there we go. So surely the, uh, the curling trophy is in focus. Chip, the snowmobiler is out of focus. Now I'm gonna, change my focus, I'm going to push my focus, where surely the curling trophy, well, okay, now I've gone to a wide shot here for some reason, but here, we, well, I will get you an example here, Gary. So, here we go. Nothing's in focus right now. Okay, trophy is in focus in the foreground. I'm going to manually change the focus so the the trophy in the foreground goes out of focus and chip the snowmobile in the background. Oh, he's not quite in focus yet. No, don't have it. Don't have it here, folks. Okay, I'm trying again. Okay, trophy, curling trophy's in focus. Chip is out of focus. And then I'm going to adjust manually the focus so that the trophy goes out of focus <clears throat> and the snowmobile in the back. Yes, I got it. There, you can see chip sitting there in focus. Now I'm gonna pull focus from the snowmobiler. Oh, see, I went too far there. It's very delicate. I was trying to go from the snowmobiler to, oh, now I'm going back and forth. Good, so, tro well, okay, snowmobiler in focus, trophies in focus. Snowmobiler's in focus, trophies in focus. Snowmobiler, I'm going a little too fast here and I'm, I'm not nailing it every time, but I'm doing lots of takes. That's what you should do. You want to try this a number of times, okay? But basically, shot one is um, you want to have whatever your subject is in the foreground in focus. Then you also want to have a shot where whatever's in the background is in focus. And you can see here, trophies out of focus, chip the snowmobile is in focus. And then the third shot you're going to do is you're going to pull back and forth. You're going to change the focus. Just go back and forth, back and forth. Pulling focus from one subject to another. That's your third shot. 